friends, it's Whitney, your host with Needles Embroidery. Today I'm going to be introducing to you the, the Logitech mouse that I use for digitizing. This mouse is purchased at Best Buy for $39.95, I believe, and they do periodically run sales on their on their digital mice, so ha ha ha. Um, you may actually find a really good deal. This one was bought maybe a year and a half ago, and it's specifically for designers, artists who work a lot on the computer, and the ball rotates, and it's really smooth, it glides. There is a an eye right inside here that responds to all the the fine movements. So you can actually move this really sm in small increments and get a beautiful result. You can do circles with this. When you're digitizing, you can get really small, precise plots. And I, I am extremely happy with this mouth. The buttons on the side were actually relatively easy for me to get the hang of. It is just like a regular mouse where you have the left button and the right button. The only difference is they are spread farther apart, so you have the holding. You can hold objects when you hold down the left button and drag it around. And the right button on my computer drops down the option tab. So this mouse, if you're interested, is a great purchase for digitizers. It's easier than your laptop keypad or your mouse pad and it gives you more of a free range. It glides so much smoother than your finger going across the the mouse pad, <laughs> you know, where you just like glide you try to do little increments but you know your your mouse your finger might slide all the way up the screen. So this is a great design. I have not had any complications using this mouse. Um, it is by Logitech. There, there is no ball or eye on the bottom so when you are working with this particular mouse you actually don't move the mouse at all. So a regular one you know you move it across the paper or excuse me your work surface, but for me, my work surface stays so cluttered that it's easier for me to just roll the mouse on top and I don't have to worry about trying to make more room for on my workspace for um, maneuvering my mouse. So I hope this answers any of your questions. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook. Share, like, and enjoy. I hope that you guys have a great day, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!